A uniform wheel of radius 0.02 meters has a string wrapped around it. The string does not slip around the wheel, and it is pulled with a 4 newtons force at a 37 degree angle as shown. If there is a friction torque of 0.03 newton meter around the axle, find the net torque acting on the wheel. Let's first find the torque produced by the 4 newtons force. Torque is the force's perpendicular component times the distance r. In this case, it can be a little hard to see what the perpendicular component is. However, we can always use the force times the lever arm to find the torque. The force is 4 newtons. The lever arm is the distance between the line of force and then the axis, so we can extend this line, and the distance between the line of force and the axis will be this perpendicular distance right here. What do you think this uh, lever arm is? It is uh, the radius, 0 0.02 meters. So the torque is uh, 0 0.08 newton meter, and uh, this force causes a clockwise torque. So this is a clockwise torque. Here I have a wheel with a string wrapped around it. And uh, this string pulls out. And this string is always going to be tangent to the circle, no matter in what direction I pull the string. Which means uh, if I'm looking for the lever arm to the line of force, which is always going to be tangent to the circle, the distance between the tangent line and the center of the circle is always going to be the radius. So this lever arm is 0 0.02 the radius. The angle here is irrelevant. What you will find is uh, we can use the force's perpendicular component times r to find the torque or the force times the lever arm. But uh, in some situations, like this one, this method is not very easy to use. But uh, force times lever arm is always going to work. Because uh, all you have to do is to find the distance between the line of force and the axis. And that's the lever arm. And uh, this will always work. So it's good for you to know both methods. But definitely, you need to know this one. So if the 4 newtons force is going to cause the wheel to rotate clockwise, that means uh, the friction torque is going to go which way? It's going to go opposite direction, counterclockwise. Therefore, the net torque will be the bigger side minus the smaller side. Because they work against each other, they're in the opposite directions. So it will be 0 0.08 clockwise torque minus the opposite direction, 0 0.03 counterclockwise torque. And this is going to give us 0 0.05 newton meter net torque in the clockwise direction.